guys since yesterday I have been monitoring this forward axle on my trailer so the inside tire which is this one I think it has a as a leak you know so I believe at the time when I change the brake I guess I didn't I didn't pump it up I didn't inflate it to the correct PSI so now I'm gonna check it to see where it's at last time I checked it it was at 80 we we'll like to see where it's at now if not I will have to put some air in it so right now it's showing 70 it's just about 60 so I'm gonna test it again it's at 70 I'm gonna check the outside one and see where it's at. Usually you wanna have the same PSI in in both tires. This one is solid, this one is at 110. That's where I want it to be. I want it to be above 100 PSI. So on for the one that is inside, I will have to put some air in it. So guys, I'm gonna show you how I go about doing that while I'm out here on the road. So John first me to it. So basically what he did is connect the the, the, the the red air line to this air hose that we have on the truck. So he connects he couple the two glad hands together and then he run the, the hose out to where we're gonna inflate the tire. So it was wrapped up pretty good. destructive pass so now guys I am inside the cab so what I'm gonna do now is disengage the red air button push it in which is the you know the trailer air supply and now I'm sending here to the hose that I just connected and I'm gonna use that as a compressor to inflate my tire can you hear that you hear the hear so if I push on this here, you're gonna, it's gonna burst up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my airline as a compressor. Pull it. You want me to pull it? So what we're doing now, guys, is just stretching the hose out. Cause, all right. So my inside tire is what is the one that is low low on air. So you hear that? So you just push it on. So it was at it was just over 60 psi. So I'm gonna inflate it up to 110. And then in the summertime when it's when it's hot and the roadway is hot I drop it from 110 and bring it down to 100 psi because when 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 it's when the time is hot guys the tire expands you know gonna test the I'm gonna see where it's at now and right now it's at 80 
showing it's at 110. So it's at 100. But just a little bit more, 10 more PSI, which is good. So what I want to achieve right now is, is it for it to be on the same, for so both tires have the same PSI are close to it. So that's what I want to achieve. Should be good now. Now just a firm push on it. So now we are at 110. So both tires are evenly inflated. So I just put my cap back on. And I'm, on go I'm going to continue to monitor it to determine if there's a leak somewhere. So if it drops air again, it's definitely leaking somewhere. Now, after you're done airing up the tire, you just come back inside the cab and apply the air supply. You know, that's a chiller air supply. You step out and reconnect your airline. You know? So that's it, it's nice and tight, no audible leak, so we're good. So that's how you so that's how you um use your truck as an air compressor while you're out on the road. <laughs> 